Okay, so you're going to adjust the... Yeah, uh, you adjust them. All you do is just, you're loosening here, and you put the feeler gauge in, mm -hmm. and it, you know, just keep going, sliding it back and forth, give it a little turn, back and forth. And I see this one's got um, a head on it for like a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. So you're loosening it. That's the adjustment. And, adjusting and the, and the, and the bolt's the, the lock. Yeah. Correct. That's so you lock. just go back and forth until you get that. Now, how do you feel. how do you set the the uh, position to be in the right spots? Because you, yeah, you as you as you move the engine around, you'll see mm -hmm. as they come up. And most often, you want to start at top dead center. Okay, how do you tell one. you're at top dead center? Easiest way you can um, uh, let's see, easiest way I've done it before would be just to take out like this your your this cylinder, this uh, injector here. Put your thumb over the hole, mm -hmm. and you'll you'll feel the as it comes up. It'll be like a little bit compression stroke. It'll mm -hmm. almost push your thumb right off. Okay. That's your top dead center. So you start there and you just work your way down. And as you crank it, okay. these will go up and down. So you now can you tell down. just by if you took the the cover off? Can you tell by just looking at these? Um, you know which ones are where? Well, most of the time you, you just wiggle them. Uh huh. I'll see that. So you get a loose one there. That loose one's one loose. loose. That one's loose. These ones are tight down this end. Okay. So, so these are, are probably up going up on the compression stroke there. Okay. So you would start here, and you would start on these two, and and based on the feeler gauge setting from the manual. Correct. And just and you just set them. Just go right down the line and set them as they go. Okay. And then you turn this down here with yep, the with the wrench. Exactly. Put it on, and it'll just and you move it around to the next position. Yep. Now. When you do that, that's what one revolution each time, or is it? It it's, depends. It's a gear. You have, you're going to have uh, is there a gear? compression stroke, and you're going to have your exhaust stroke. Okay. So you always want to be on your compression stroke. Okay. And which one of these is the exhaust, and which one of these is the intakes? You're this has got to be intake, intake, and in correct. This is exhaust, exhaust, and exhaust, yep. right? Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if I can pull it. It might go. Let's see here. Tight. Well, I'm sure it's probably in here for a reason. But yeah, let me turn that one. <laughs> okay. Not by hand anyway. Okay. But and yeah. then, and which one of these do you call like the number one cylinder? Is that well, the back one or the on front it's one? It's generally on the front. It's generally on the front. Yep. Okay. Because this is the same. It's that engine that they're talking about over there. The pretty much 27. the same thing. Um, like okay. I said, when you when we go out to Wester Beacon to that site, it's going to give you mm -hmm. all the pictures to say, this is number one cylinder, turn yep. it X amount of times till you get to this. Then use your feeler gauge there, go to your number two cylinder, do the same thing. Okay. Um, and they label everything, even as much as torque sequences. For the bolts, right? Off. you got to exactly. take these, and it's these bolts, these, this one, this one. And now this guy's kind of buried, right? But you still got to do that, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, if you're taking the head off, that's got to come out too. Okay. Yeah, and again, they'll they'll give you all the torque sequences for everything on the engine. You okay. Know, it, it's actually a real good site. I'll, I'll take a lot a look of people at don't it. use it as much as I. I try to tell people to go out there all the time. I mean, even so much as if you're looking for a part mm -hmm. and you don't know what to call it, I'll say, I'll, you know, I'll walk somebody through it to get them up to that and say, okay, now let's look through it. Oh yeah, that's what it is right there. Now I'm getting the right part. We find many times. More times than not, you call it something, we call it something. We give you the wrong part. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, for instance, Caterpillar. <sighs> What's the thermostat? A regulator. They call it a regulator. If you look for a thermostat, you would not find it. Okay. All right. But it's, you know, it's now, what, what is this other oil fill for over here? Is that just a separate port, the one on the side? That's... I think that one's for the... Yeah, that's just your, that's your oil fill. Because normally I'd fill from the top because I can't get to that one very okay, well, but well, that one is there. It's just two entry ports for oil. Okay. So it really doesn't matter. Nope. And this thing here, th which which is this? This is the fuel pressure? That is the oil. Okay, that's oil pressure right that's there. A, yeah, the oil pressure sender. Okay, and what's this guy right here? That one is the oil... Let's see. Sender, that's the um, switch. Okay, so this is this is going to have contacts in it. Yes. Okay, so this guy is is letting me know I got oil pressure. This is the this the transducer for the oil um, gauge. That's for the gauge, right? Okay, that got little, it. That one got it. Makes sure it will shut everything off. All right, that's great. And on most of all the Westerbeaks, they have like a a fail safe where your oil pressure, your fuel pressure, 
and the exhaust temp are all hooked together. So if any one of them goes, the alarm goes off, shuts your engine down. Okay. And then the starter is over here, right? Mm -hmm. So what's this other thing on top of this? Is this a starter solenoid? A solenoid yep. Okay, so there's a starter solenoid yep. and then the starter itself. Right. So when you in, in, when you engage it and you put juice here, yep. it's going to shove it forward, which shoves the armature out here, hit the flywheel. There's a small there's cog. There's a gear in there. And that it just goes. shoves up against it, and then it rips off the air. Just like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 